Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Ye, and today I have built the best mechanical keyboard in my history. And you never guess who is this. And this is a Wooting 60E in absolutely different case with all moddings and very unique keycaps. Interesting how I build this. Let me show you. So first of all, we need to disassemble this keyboard. Okay, let's start from the keycaps. We need to remove all of them from the keyboard. Also, we need to eject or all magnetic switches from PCB. It will be a good idea to remove all stabilizers as well. It will help a lot. Now we need to unscrew the five screws what we have in this case and very simple just remove the pcb sandwich from the plastic case now let me show you this tofu 60 redux case okay so first of all we have this tofu 60 redux accessories screwdrivers and screws also it's very nice that we have this foam sound dampening cut it exactly for this keyboard for this case Obviously, we have fully aluminum orange case itself. Also, I ordered a brass weight bar to, like, you know, add some weight to the final product. I will use the switch pad, and unfortunately, I will not use this NC plate, but you can if you want. Okay, now we're ready to assemble it back. So, first of all, let's attach this weight bar to the main aluminum case tofu 60 and it should be something like this at the end as a next step i will use this switch pad to add into the pcb sandwich i will use reuse this foam from original sandwich and also this metal plate i will use it again as a part of the sandwich and now let's just screw in all together the PCB sandwich and metal plate and all forms inside. Modding. First of all, let's do the, the most simple mod is a painter type mod, right? Second thing, we need to add some sound dampening foam inside. You can use original from the wooting or you can use what you have um, together with this aluminum case from tofu right when you will be done with all of this just align uh, pcb sandwich to the case and screw it in check that it's a uh, like you know no rotoling or wobbling no spaces or anything like this and please check that the usb c port is aligned with a case uh, port right now let's do the um, stabilizers mod so i will add uh, some you know just uh, eight type to the uh, bottom part under the stabilizers let's do the some lubrication of the stabilizers i will add inside with where is the metal bar and also on the rails And also, I noticed that, that these stabilizers are wobbling in this plate, so I will add some uh, silicone pads under upper side of each stabilizer. So when you will be ready with modding of your stabilizers, my recommendation, just insert a couple of switches and just check that they work properly and sound properly. Okay, next stage is the most boring stage. You need to lubricate all switches. Uh, I am not gonna to disassemble them. I just want to lubricate rails. I think it will be enough in this case. Uh, these switches are not bad in general, but the sound a little bit harsh, kind of sandy. So that's why I want to add this lubrication on the rails, which will help a lot of like for the sound of this keyboard at the at the end as a final product. 
Now it's time to put our keycaps back. Nothing special, just do not miss the keys and legends just to put everything as it should be. And this is our final keyboard assembled with a new case from Tofu 60. Now here's this out. This is stock Wooting 60E keyboard. And this is absolutely new in a new case after all mods. Check this out. Bonus content. Let me show you very interesting, very unique keycap. This keycap may really change any of your keyboard, but first of all, it will change my Wooting 60E. So today I have uh, this double shot rubber TPR keycaps from brand Ranked. I just found them on Amazon and try on my other keyboard and I like it. It's really interesting from the how it's on touch and how it's on like you know feel feel and touch and um, also not bad sound right I, I'm gonna to add some colors to this wooting so I will use orange keycaps for my AWSD part my green one I will use for bottom and right side and just check this out so it's a double shot pbt shine through rubet all of this okay guys this keyboard from the beginning was very interesting one it's a not not a simple just you know one more in a row guys know what they're doing and i really can appreciate this and i decided to make this keyboard my main gaming keyboard that's why i invest so much into it the final budget is crazy of this setup i understand this but you know what sometimes you just want to have something really unique and with a super high quality if you want to see initial review of this keyboard why it's unique check this video on my channel see you next time bye